All right, I'm at the amenity center. It's actually locked, so uh, residents must have a key to the amenity center, and you can use it, you know, when you want. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of look through the window and show you what I can see. So if we look up close, you can see it's a pretty decent area. I'm not sure if there's a fitness center. This is an area that you could probably rent out for parties, you know, put in reservations, and then the pool is for everybody. I'm gonna walk around to the side so you can see the pool better. And then I'll show you the community and, and then I'll show you the nearby amenities. So over here is your mailboxes, right here. Put, the, put this in perspective to where your property is. This is the building that I was just at, right through here. You would walk and then go down the hall and it was the uh, end, first floor at the end. So basically right across the street from where this apartment is, is the amenity center and the mailbox. So continuing on, like I said, this whole building is the amenity center. You would come through, there's a little outside patio area, and then this is the pool. And like I said, from here, your place is there. So, real close. I'm gonna uh, just drive through the community real quick and then I'll show you the amenities. So this is also, not sure if, uh, if your key would allow you to just walk right into it. I, I would imagine it would. You can either go through the building or you can just go right here and, and get to the pool. That, makes, that would make sense, right? That the key would allow you to through that door. You can see there's a lot of townhomes in here. So this is kind of a cluster of condos and townhomes. All right. Give me a second while I put my seatbelt on or else it's gonna beep at us and drive me nuts. Hold on. Okay. We are in. All right, let's take a look at this community a little bit. It's not that big of a community. So I'll take a second to loop around and show you. Okay. So that's the amenity center. So these condos, they, they wrap around i'll show you real quick we'll be back at the entrance in, in just a minute these probably are selling in the threes if i had to guess it's their two car garages two stories you know probably you know well over two thousand square feet i would i would think i've shown them once or twice but it's been a while And this is part of Tampa Palms. Okay, Tampa Palms is huge. Um, it's it's a couple miles long on both sides. You know, like Bruce B. Downs is the main road, and Tampa Palms is on the north and south side of Bruce B. Downs. So it's big, but this is technically still Tampa Palms. All right, so we just looped around. Now this amenity center is right here. I could go this way, this just anyway, you get the gist of this community. To me it looks good. I see nothing alarming. And there's a BMW or a Mercedes right there in the parking lot, but it looks very safe, you know, family oriented. It is gated, so I was able to get through the gate before I did the video. So just to once again mention this is where this unit is, right there at the end of the hall. There's the gate to leave or to come, so it's pretty close to the gate. And over here was the pool and the amenity center. So all of it is pretty close to the entrance. There's a couple more buildings here and down this way. And that's basically the entire uh, community. Now, just down the road, like less than a mile, there's a, a pretty good size 
uh, plaza and I'm just gonna drive to that give you a little perspective of what's super close to this uh, to this condo and then I'll, I'll end it across the street these are uh, apartments for rent so they're not to be bought but those are apartments for rent I actually went in there by accident looking for this condo and then I went into the amenity center and they said uh, that's across the street so that was my mistake but those are that community is con uh, apartments for rent only all right so we're gonna head to this amenity center just down the road from now in addition to this plaza that I'm heading to there is uh, just down the road a few miles there's a BJ's I'm not, I'm not sure if you're familiar with BJ's um, Generally, there's BJ's, Costco, and Sam's Club. They're all similar, you know, membership um, type, large, large place, you know, restaurant, not restaurant, um, what would you call it? A warehouse of food and furniture and clothes and all that. But that, that's just down the road is, is BJ's. There's a church right here. And then also, I guess I could show you, but as we go further towards uh, I-75, um, that's when there's Chick-fil-A and then even more restaurants and choices. Uh, there's also Wiregrass Mall. I would say it's probably 15 minutes from here. But there's, there's that as well. I'm going to cross the street here and... Right. So here's this plaza that I've been talking about. Florida Central Credit Union. Nail Salon, Bell Tone, I don't know if that's phones, I don't know. Bell's Outlet, that's uh, clothing. There's a Nail Salon, a jeweler, jeweler, UPS store, a couple restaurants here, China City, Subway. And then this is the grocery store, Publix. Um, the biggest chain that we have in this area is Publix. There's others. Win Dixie, <laughs> she's waving at me. But um, but Publix is right here, so this is where you probably go for your groceries. Now we'll check out the others here. Try not to run anyone over. Probably nice to let this dude go. My turn, my turn. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have a liquor store here, because in Florida, you can only, the grocery stores only sell beer and wine, but the liquor store has all the hard alcohol and stuff. Frame by frame, whatever that is, is a pet hospital. And then we have a couple restaurants here, the Fat Rabbit, never been. Uptown Cheapskate, looks like clothing, dry cleaners. A Mexican restaurant, Don Julio's, a dentist, a pizzeria, a hair, hair place, and great clips. And looks like there's even Tampa General Medical Group Family Care. I'm not sure if that's, I don't know if they'll take on medical emergencies or it's just where you go to address your medical concerns. I don't know, whatever that is. All right, so, so, and then here's a bank, Trust Bank. Used to be BB&T, now it's Trust. Of course, here's a clip of all the uh, the amenities. So that's uh, that's it in, in a nutshell. That's, that's the condo, and that is the uh, nearby amenities. I could show you, I don't make this clip too long, I could show you uh, Bruce B. Downs, and BJ's and the highway. I'll, I'll drive just another minute or two and then I'll end this. So I wanna take a left and we're gonna head back towards Bruce B. Downs. All right, so like I said, this is Bruce B. Downs. Tampa Palms is on the north and south side of Bruce B. Downs.
like three exits or so, three or four of these exits is, is Tampa Palms. And then we'll reach the highway, I-75 north and south. And then on the other side of the highway is where there's a lot more restaurants, um, Chick-fil-A, all that stuff. And then if you continue down Bruceby Downs, like we're heading, if you continue another 10 minutes or so, you'll actually cross the, uh, it's called County Line Road, so you'll cross the county, you'll leave Hillsborough. Hillsborough is Tampa, Tamp Tampa is in Hillsborough. So you'll leave Hillsborough, you'll go into Pasco County, which Wesley Chapel is the biggest city in, in Pasco, and then you'll hit um, Wiregrass Mall. Wiregrass Mall is probably 15 minutes up this road, depending on the traffic lights, 10 to 15 minutes to Wiregrass Mall. So you, so even that is, is not too far from where we're at. If you were to go this way, if you were to go west, um, you would hit uh, I, USF. So a lot of students look for housing in this area, especially if their parents are fairly well off and can help them buy a condo or a townhome or a house. So USF is... 10 minutes down the road in this direction and this is heading west so that would eventually get you closer to the ocean if you head that way but right now we're heading east and just bear with me in just another minute show you a little bit more and then I'll end this video you can see the sign here uh, deer crossing I've been doing this many many years I've only run into well only seen one deer I didn't run into him I saw one deer on this on the sidewalk it was kind of weird just to see him standing there. But. So like I said, this is Bruceby Downs heading east. Uh, I-75 is right in front of us. You can see, looking at the map here, uh, I-75 is, you know, we're going to be crossing it here in another couple minutes. And, uh, and then the only you know, have all these restaurants and stuff on the other side of the bridge, or out the yeah, other side of I-75. Chase Bank, racetrack, gas station. I think the next intersection or the next, I think up here on the right is the BJ's wholesale, and then the, and then you have the the uh, highway. And this is still Tampa Palms, both sides of the road. You can see the uh, the sign, but it's still Tampa Palms. But we're, we're almost at the end of Tampa Palms. Like now we're, once we get to the bridge, Tampa Palms is over. Yeah, here's BJ's right here. So here's another large plaza, probably even larger than the one I just showed you. Or maybe not, that's Lowe's, so that's what's taking up all that space. The plaza I showed you is really the one that has all the stores. Here's BJ's and, and uh, and extra men, extra restaurants and stuff. BJ's is behind that CVS. You can't really see the building, but that's the sign for it. <clears throat> McDonald's. Another entrance in. It's called Market Square. So there you go. That's another. That's the that's the plaza. So BJ's is in there, and then uh, like I said, you're at the at the um, at the highway. So if you head this way south. That's going to get you down into Tampa, probably in about 25 minutes, if you go that way. And then if you cross this way, cross over, um, now we're heading right towards Wiregrass Mall and a bunch of other uh, restaurants and stuff like that are just over here. I'm actually heading to Chick-fil-A myself, so I'm going to take you there and then I will end this video. So I'm going to give you an actual close-up tour of where Chick-fil-A is in this place. Alright, it's going to be right here. We have more restaurants and stuff over here. Another another plaza on, on this side. 
There's a brand new plaza up here on the left, another mile. They have a Sprouts Farmer's Market. It's supposed to be a really um, healthy grocery store. I'm not sure how competitive they are in price, but I think they have just really, I don't know. I've never been to Sprouts, but it's brand new. Just opened up. It's right up on the left, about another mile. But we won't go there. Of course, I get hung up at the stoplight right as I'm almost there. All right, here we go. But yeah, Tampa Palms is nice. I mean, it's safe. As safe as anywhere. Crime happens anywhere, but it definitely is not an area that, you know, has shady people. Could be an area that shady people could target. <laughs> That's possible. But it's just a good family-oriented, clean, safe area. So there's a car wash here. CVS. And this is Chick-fil-A right here. Always super crowded. So I have to go in from here. There's a um, uh, Chili's right up here on the right. Like another, just like another tenth of a mile. This is Chili's. There's Chick Fil A. All right. Probably overkill, but I just want to give you a little idea of the area that, that we're in. And if you have any questions at all about the condo, about the area, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. All right. Catch you later. Bye.